Hello, I'm Andy Rash, the technical trainer for DMAG Cranes and Components. In this video, we want to show you the main hoist motor and its brake adjustment on an older P hoist. We can use this window to determine how much axial displacement that we have in the system as the brake wears, axial displacement will increase and at some point we'll have to make an adjustment and we will show that in this video by removing this back cover and moving the brake lining outward toward the cover. To get to the brake adjustment on a main motor without a micro speed motor we'll have to take out the bolts around the circumference. On a hoist, you should always secure your hook before you remove any brake parts. Either tie it to the bottom of the hoist or set it on the ground. We'll help this along with a pry bar and put it on the meaty area of the casting. Carefully remove the cover from the shaft. Don't let the rotor fall out. Adjustment is accomplished by taking out these four socketed cap screws and removing this disc as the next step. Once the socket head cap screws are removed, I can easily count the number of threads between the end of the threading and the disc itself. This will help me in my adjustment to think of a normal brake adjustment as being four holes of the disc or one revolution. This is right hand thread, so I'll have to turn this disc counterclockwise to a new position and then use the four screws to pull the brake disc out to the position of the locking disc. We'll break this loose in the slot using our pry bar. After making the four hole adjustment and then use two of the screws to pull the assembly back together to the new position to compensate for the wear. I'm only going to use two of the bolts with no load to make the adjustment and when I'm finally adjusted I'll put all four in. And we'll cinch these down you'll see how the disc moves outward on the end of the motor shaft to make up for the wear of the rubber material. So now that we showed you the common brake adjustment, we want to actually go in and disassemble the brake and remove the carrier disc and brake lining to show you how to change a brake when the change is needed. Remember that the thickness of the material has probably seen in its lifetime three adjustments. So when you put it back together with new lining, you may have to put it closer to the motor by three more turns. Always helpful to keep track of the visible number of threads. First removing the socket head cap screws. Second, removing the threaded on tapered locking ring. Removing the carrier disc with the rubber lining, 
reveals the edge of the carrier disk that we were viewing through the window. A new brake part would be ordered with the new lining. For reassembly, we'll simply put this back on the splines. We'll retrieve our tapered locking nut. We'll put it back on the shaft. Taking into account the number of threads that we counted earlier, and if this were a new lining, turning it inward, an extra three turns, will line up with the best hole alignment for the threaded holes, remount our socket head cap screws, that will pull the disc up to the locking disc. As this tightens, it clamps harder around the shaft. Make sure when you reinstall the brake cap that you line up the notch with the access to the other bolts in the system. The next step is to run the motor and verify that you have a good brake adjustment by looking in the window. We recommend that you do not set to the minimum on the brand new install of the new rubberized lining. Leave a little leeway for the new rubber lining that's never seen heat to thermally expand and then shrink back down after it cools off. And then you could do another final brake adjustment following the same procedure to fine tune it. Best to do some lifting of loads, starting light and increasing to heavier loads, and then do a final adjustment before you walk away. We've completed the adjustment and shown how to install a new brake lining on a P-hoist equipped with only a main motor. Future videos will show the option when a micro-speed motor with micro-speed gearbox takes the place of this brake cap. Please watch for those videos and please hit the like button and subscribe to the DMAG videos.